today's creature of the day is the Ankylosaurus. Its name means fused lizard, referring to the armor fused to its skull and body. It lived in what is now Canada and the U.S., specifically Montana and Wyoming, 68 to 66 million years ago during the late Cretaceous. It's known for its distinctive bony plates and large defensive tail club, which it used against predators like Tyrannosaurus, but also probably against other Ankylosauruses. Its tail club could deliver a bone-crushing blow. Even its eyelids were armored. It grew up to 10 meters, or 33 feet long, and weighed up to 8 tons. It used its small, leaf-shaped teeth and narrow beak to browse on low-lying plants. When threatened, it would likely drop to the ground to protect its only vulnerable body part, the belly. It went extinct due to the KPG extinction and was described by Barnum Brown in 1908. There's only one known species, Ankylosaurus magniventris. Immediates appeared in Walking with Dinosaurs, the Land Before Time franchise, Dinosaur Train, Ice Age 3, Fantasia, Dinosaur Revolution, Clash of the Dinosaurs, Last Day of the Dinosaurs, Dino Dex, Disney's Dinosaur, which that Ankylosaurus is not a Euoplocephalus, like I said in my Euoplocephalus video, I've learned that, and in the Jurassic World and Jurassic Park movies, a noteworthy Ankylosaurus being bumpy. In Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous, it's also appeared in several video games, like other Jurassic World games, along with the Ark games, Prehistoric Kingdom, you know, etc. There's probably tons I missed. Anyways, that's a pretty cool ankylosaur, the namesake of the ankylosaur family, and remains the largest ankylosaur. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment what other creatures I should talk about.